Fora TV. The world is thinking. Easy confirmation is predicted for Judge Sotomayor, and there's little reason to think that the persons making those predictions are wrong. Democrats have now 59 senators and one comedian voting with them. <laughs> That's enough to prevent a filibuster. Moreover, Republicans and Democrats have approached the su Supreme Court confirmation process differently. Since the Bork nomination in 1987, Republican senators cast only three and nine votes, respectively, against Clinton nominees Ginsburg and Breyer. Three and nine votes. On the other hand, Democratic senators cast 58, 48, 22, and 43 negative votes against Republican President Supreme Court nominees Bork, Thomas, Roberts, and Alito. Justice Kennedy was in there and skated through rather easily, but of course he was the anti-Bork at that point. And Justice Souter received only nine no votes, but I think that the Democrats knew that he was going to turn out to be Justice Souter. <laughs> Thus we see that Republican senators seem to be willing to vote to confirm qualified Supreme Court nominees of the op op opposing party. Democratic senators and their affiliated interest groups will go to the battle station every single time. As for Hispanics, Democratic senators wouldn't even allow a vote on Miguel Estrada's nomination to the D.C. Circuit. Republicans will turn the other cheek.